Hello YouTube. I'm here today with a unboxing video. I hadn't done an unboxing video in several weeks now. Uh, just happened upon this item on a, it was a musician's friend, Scratch and Dent, and uh, it was a level three, so I'm kind of nervous. I've uh, had some pretty good experiences with Scratch and Dent, and uh, most of the time I try to find the ones that are level two. Uh, this one just happened to be a level three, so as you can see, I hope it has that great, great Gretsch sound. See if I can do this one-handed. All right, get that part. Oh, it's upside down. This is a. Uh, let's see. Wait a minute. Let's go to the other end here. Here we go. dropped it. Wow. This thing's uh, packed really well. Uh, well let's see here. <coughs> this is one of those kind of slide out things. Things here too. <sighs> I just don't have enough room for a slide out. All right. Sorry for the wobbly camera. <clears throat> Whew. Okay. Looks like it's packed well. I really don't see a whole lot of stuff on the inside here okay before I accidentally drop it trying to use one hand I'm gonna get this turn off the camera real quick and get this up here where I can kind of open it up with one hand so I'll be right back okay so there's a little bit of it peeking through here oh wow oh that scared me I thought that was a big chunk of finish missing but it was just a piece of cardboard cool man this is a pretty guitar if I can get this foam out of the way here foam just doesn't want to give up That's a nice touch. Gold logo. This is the Gritch Streamliner 2627. Let's see if I can get on the video there. G2627T, and this is in the uh, Georgia Green. From what I understand, this is an exclusive model, and there's really not any information at all about it anywhere. Man, that color's pretty. That's cool. And I did notice 
the level three blim, I'll just kind of let you take a gander here. See if anybody can notice it. I'll turn it back over, see if you notice it. And one more time before I reveal. I'm sure some of you eagle eyes out there have noticed it. there looks like there is a little teeny tiny chip little finished chip <clears throat> and I didn't notice that but yeah looks like it looks like it might have taken a hit right here That's not so bad. Yeah, that actually should be a pretty easy fix. I'm gonna have to try to get my camera on the inside and see uh, see what kind of support there is right there. But uh, yeah, that's not too bad. Not too bad at all. So that is a pretty good example of what a level three blim looks like. Not a, not a major deal breaker. And the cool thing about it is the location of it. Once I make sure that strap is, uh, that strap button is secure, then when you have the strap on the guitar, you won't even be able to see that. So, very cool. And I, I really doubt you'll be able to see that too. Be interesting to see if I can locate some kind of touch up paint or something for that. Needless to say, I'm pretty uh, pretty excited about this. It's a beautiful guitar. I've always loved Gretsch's. Okay, as always, thanks for tuning in. Be sure and subscribe, like, and share. Hit that bell notification for future videos. And... Have a good night.